What's up loves? It's your girl April and it's time for a Dollar Tree video haul. I have not done Dollar Tree in a minute. I have been keeping myself super busy from that store like trying to keep away from it because you know like I always say you go in there with a buck and you come out with a whole bunch of stuff that you don't even need. So with that being said I decided to go there today um, because I haven't been in a minute. Um, I did go in there last week but I walked out. I left the car and walked out because it was stuff that I didn't need and I was like April cut it out and just go home. Just just go home. So I did need some stuff today. So I went, I went in there and I spent $48, rounded off 47 and some change. But, um, yeah, before you guys even ask about the hair, I did make this wig. It is a, um, wig that I made using hair from Champagne Taste. I will, um, if it's not already up, have a video for it. And I did the same thing as I did with my blonde unit. But if you're interested in or curious to know how I did it, I will post the original video. Let's get into this Dollar Tree video. For you guys, I love to get these. These are just the, um, napkins. You get 160. Also for my dog, I did get a bow tie these were so cute they came in like three different colors and it also came in two different styles so it was an actual bow tie which it does have the strap around the back and also a regular tie so cute and I thought these were so cute now these are recycling bins and they're actually for your desk you know you can use them at your desk at work use them at your desk at home but I thought these were so cute because they look just like the recycling bins like you know us us humans would use but I decided to get these two for Mumsy these would be a great collection for her Barbie doll house even Barbies have garbage so I thought this was cute it has like the recycling um, symbol on the front it has the wheels in the back like would we would use to pull out our trash and handles and also really cute if you have daughters these are so cute they have three different colors pink purple and an aqua color cute little Barbie furniture. You know, Barbie's got trash too. He might put Ken out and throw some of his stuff in there. A girl can never have too many phone cases. Did they have some of the um, Samsung Galaxy um, 7 um, phone cases? I got this here. I got two of them. One is white with some bling on it and then there's a pink one. So cute. Those little dots are actually the bling diamonds on it for a buck. Okay really cute this is like the fourth phone case that i've gotten from there but i thought these were so adorable because they actually have bling on them so if you purchase these elsewhere they're more than a dollar so i don't know i might have to buy a whole bunch of these and start selling them on facebook and stuff that was just a joke i really wouldn't do that but i'm just saying really cute for a dollar get these here there's another one another pair that i have these are the brillo um, reusable rubber gloves I thought these were so cute because of the actual print on them so they are one size fits all this is great for when I'm dying here normally I'll buy like the disposable ones but sometimes when I wear the disposable ones they're either falling off catching holes so these are great I thought these were cute for the design but there's a, a wide variety of things you can do with these not really sure if you guys have seen these lotions or not lotions but body washes but my kids go through body wash here like crazy I like to keep my cabinets filled so I do get some of the Dollar Tree body washes not all of them because some of them are more or less like you have to use double the amount but I thought I would give these a try these are the spa hauls and I think that's how you say it, our mind and body so I got the stress relief with which is the calming body wash and I also got the daily moisturizing body wash really good scent opposed to like the white rain brand I really don't like the white rain I used to purchase that a lot but I did notice when using that you have to use a lot a newer so. brand to me I'm not really sure about um, how new it is in the actual Dollar Tree but this is avocado and iris scent one of my favorites which is their vanilla um, home spray I stay stocked on all of this stuff like you have to make sure your cabinets are full I leave this in bathrooms and kitchens and living rooms 
You know what I'm saying? Now, this is my favorite scent, though, for the actual home fragrance. This is the rose one. If you guys have ever tried this or have not, I would suggest trying this out from the Dollar Tree. This one actually smells just like roses, and I love the scent of this. This is the one that I keep in, like, my bathroom. Um, there's also the rose petal, which is um, a more or less a pink nozzle. That one smells just as good as well, but this one is very, very potent, and I love the scent of the roses of this one. Another good brand is the Airwick, which has the Snuggle Fresh. It doesn't really smell like um, Snuggle Fabric Softener, but it does have a really great scent to it, and it smells like fresh linen. I love the smell of laundry and just clean clothes and clean in general. So this one is also one of my favorites. They do carry the Purple Can as well, which I believe is the lavender scent. You can never have too many of these antibacterial wipes. There comes 60 in a bottle, and they are with the vitamin E and aloe for cleaning your hands with but I do like to get the clean cloth also which um, you can just use to clean surfaces with I use them for both I, I'll use this for cleaning surfaces as well you guys already know I am like a fabuloso junkie I think I have like five of these already so I'm not gonna show you all of them because they're all the lavender scent I love this stuff okay so I'm so addicted to it it smells so damn good like Normally, I will get like all the scents. They have like the blue bottle. I'm not really too keen on the green bottle, which is the pine scent one. And you're probably not going to see that anymore because it's not Christmas. But I love the blue one and the purple one. And then also, there's another brand that I also do like too. But I use this to mop the floors with. But mainly, honeys, I will pour a little bit of this in a pot with some water and have it simmering on my stove. My house smells so good. Like, so I mainly buy it to put in the stove this one right here this is the spring berries I kind of like this brand a lot better than like the Airwick brands because it just smells a lot stronger one of my favorites which I always purchase from the Dollar Tree is the dawn this is the simply concentrated it seems like this goes like so fast in my house that same body wash again this is the blackberry or boysenberry blackberry sugar um it does have a slight fragrance to it it's not so strong so it's not so overwhelming and i'm hoping that it really does lather up good some apple cider vinegar tati said we are going to give this a try um if you guys have been watching or seeing like a lot of diet and weight loss um Drinking apple cider is a great way to lose weight. Not drinking it. Don't drink it in a cup, okay? Um, a lot of people take like a tablespoon or so a day. I can't really remember the exact measurements, so if you're counting on me to tell you, please don't. You can always Google it or YouTube it, but apple cider vinegar is also supposed to be another way to help you lose a little bit of weight. So I'm going to see how that works out for me, and hopefully it does. Um, also, eating well and dieting and exercising also is a great way to lose weight, too. But, you know, a little boost, a little bit of help will work out, too. We got these snacks right here, which are the So Natural peach slices and also the apple slices. My grandson, Tinky, loves these. Oh, my God. He absolutely loves these. It's just like dried up fruit, but he absolutely loves these. And, you know, they're healthy. You can always carry them around with you. So, they do have other flavors as well. They just started carrying these in my Dollar Tree. But I used to get these when I was living in New York at this grocery store called Price Right. And Price Right was like um, not a low end grocery store, but you had to bag your own stuff. And they had a lot of off brands, like non name brands or what have you. You would find some name brands, but the prices were really affordable. You had to bring your own bags or purchase bags from them, which was 10 cents. A girl always brought her own bags, you know what I mean? You, of course, you had to bag them. But I used to love getting these alphabet cookies from that grocery store and I have not had them in like over three years I love like butter cookies shortbread cookies and these are so good you get a whole big ass box for a buck and let me tell y'all they were like I think in New York they were like a dollar fifty if I'm not mistaken but we used to buy these all the time and they're made in nut free oil so in case you guys love shortbread cookies or allergic to peanuts you don't have to worry with these oh my god you get a lot but these are so good like so we got two boxes for this time i will be going back shortbread cookies are great with milk you can give them to the kids they're not too sweet so 
Yes, aunties. Um, I did get another set of these gloves. What did I tell you guys? So this is more or less like Valentine's Day. So cute. And it's by a reputable brand, Brillo. Okay, so like I said, they're reusable. They're one size fits all. You can use these to garden with, to barbecue, to clean with, to dye hair with. They are great gloves. They do come up further than the actual disposable gloves. And I thought these were so cute because they're more or less like Valentine's Day which is right around the corner. These are the Lunchables and these are the Cookie Dunks and the Dirt Cake. So basically there are three different sections and one has like, to me it looks like crumbled up cookies and then some fudge and some worms, so these like gummy worms. They can dunk them and for a dollar, you know. Um, some more batteries. I told you guys about the batteries before, so normally what I used to do is I would go to the Dollar Tree and I would just grab the pack that had the most batteries, but if you're using them for like video game controllers and things like that, you have to look at like the certain batteries. So this one right here that has the most batteries, this is a pack of eight AA. This says low drain, ideal for low drain devices. So this is ideal for like flashlights, remote controls, things that are gonna low drain and it does say on the back they will last longer if you're going to use these particular ones for like remote control cars or video game controllers then it's not going to last as long so when you want something like for video game controllers or remote control cars you have to get the high drain ones so the high drain ones are um these are double a but they only come with four but they're high drain so on the back it does show you like radios or cameras or remote control cars and things these are more ideal for that they'll last just, just about the same amount of time as like an energizer would but you have to make sure that they you know you look at what it says high drain low drain and what you're going to use it for that way you get the most usage out of your battery so i did get some of these for my grandson's remote control cars and also like for my microphone uh, my microphone that i use that's attached to my camera is a low drain so the batteries last like really long in it i also seen these at the dollar tree for mumsy these cute little mechanical pencils they have like valentine's day checkered things and designs on them she'll love these because she loves mechanical pencils and also a matching pen what has like an owl one of those big jumbo pens some big erasers this is a lot of damn erasers so I don't know what she gonna erase. She gonna erase a whole bunch of stuff, but she gonna be she gonna be all set for erasers for a while. Another phone case. This one is pink, and it also has the bling on it, like a light rose pink. So cute. I was like so excited when I seen this. I was like, yes, honey, yes. I'm about to hook it up. My phone gonna look really cute. Cause normally I keep the same case on my phone, and I think it's because it has a kickstand in the back of it. So when I'm doing my makeup in the morning, I just put it on my makeup desk, and I'm able to watch TV or watch my favorite shows. I'll watch Netflix. So. I don't really know how long it's gonna last on my phone because it doesn't have a kickstand, but. And also, I did get one of the screen guards, which they sell these for like 15, 10 bucks at like um, the phone stores for phone accessories. So when I found one that fits my, uh, my Samsung Galaxy 7, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get one for a dollar. It only comes with one, but if you purchase these at like any of your phone accessory booths or phone stores, they'll cost you like 10 bucks. The last thing are some trouser socks. My daughter Tati loves these. She loves these socks. She says they fit perfectly. They don't fall. They're great with her shoes. So that's it. So yes, you guys, that was my Dollar Tree haul. I hope I did not take up too much of your time. I'm not really sure when I'm going to go back in there because I be trying to stay away. Okay. That was enough that I spent more than enough. So I'm good. I'm good, 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 good. So yes, you guys, um, on that note, stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about my Dollar Tree War. And as always, I will see you guys on a soon-to-come video.